Here's a remote that I use with the Media PC. Uh, one of the best things I like about this remote is it's cheap. It's not programmable like some of the more expensive remotes, but at under 20 bucks, it's really nice. Plus, I can I can get around some of the programming uh, limitations with a USB IR blaster, which I just uh, talk about in one of my other posts. So this ro remote looks a lot like a TiVo remote, so it feels comfortable in your hand. It also has a neat feature in that it combines not only uh, basic media buttons and is designed to control media centers so it basically works right out of the box, but it also has mouse functionality which is, is really handy because it eliminates a lot of the need for reaching and grabbing for the wireless keyboard for just basic uh, media PC controlling things. The, the pad down here controls the mouse which, although it's hard to see, um, moves fairly quickly if you just push and hold it, moves in uh, eight different directions. So it's pretty easy to, to get around on the screen. Plus there are two buttons, left and right, for mousing, mouse clicking. The main uh, buttons that you use for controlling the Mini PC are these uh, left, right, up and down arrows and the center OK button, plus a back button. And all, like I said, all these work basically right out of the box. Also, I've I've overridden some of the functionality using Event Ghost and the uh, USB IR Blaster to make it even more useful in terms of uh, being able to launch Hulu and other functionality. So, and it's also got the, the green button that you expect on Media Center but, uh, remotes. You push this and Media Center launches right away. Moving the button up and down you can easily navigate through the menus and control a lot of the functionality. And to dismiss Media Center, you just hit the bottom button to close it. And as a demonstration of launching Hulu, one of the buttons up here, just below the orange button, will bring up Hulu Desktop. And again, I can dismiss it by hitting the close button.